The purpose of this video is to show using the option max when size is selected and using the size increments um, of the step choice. Right now, the lizards are selected. I have a total height of nine, but I want to make the lizard to be smaller and I wanna do it quickly. So I can change the increment of size over here. So if I touch the word small, I get an on-screen display of all my choices. Tiny, small, medium, big, jumbo. Another way that I can ch change it is not by using the on-screen display there, but I can also just touch the word step. So if I touch the word step, it cycles through my changes. So I've changed it to jumbo, and when I choose the icon to make the lizard smaller, they're gonna do it quickly because of Jumbo being selected. So I'm choosing that icon to make them smaller and you can see they get smaller quick because of Jumbo. If I were to change this to small, then when I make the lizard say bigger, they're gonna do it very slowly. You can almost not see it. So that's one way to use the, um, the size increments is when you're using, using these icons. Um, when I hit reset, it takes everything back like it was. I'm back, back to nine. Now I wanna show using the max option. I'm going to change the rows to two, give myself a few more patterns, make it fit better. Um, the second row, I'm going to flip it, choose alternate, flip. Okay, so now I have my two rows that are showing nine, and, and now I decide I'm going to change the height to eight. So, as you can see, with with nine, the row and the pattern height is four and a half, but when I change the height to eight, okay, it changed the row height to four, but the pattern height stayed four and a half. Now, I, I could just change that pattern height, but um, I want to show you what happens when you use the max button when you have size selected. So we're going to select all all we want them both to change so when i select max i'm going to hold the camera up here so that you're able to watch the lizards because what max is going to do it will resize each row to be four instead of four and a half which is incorrect so i'm touching max right now and you saw the lizards change and it also changed to four over here so that's the purpose of that max button, is to resize your rows to fit the row height that goes with the height, the total height. Now I want to nest that second row, so I'm going to select that second row, and, and now I can again use my step increments in how quickly I want, how much I want that second row to move up. So I'm going to come down and select Move, and then I get my stagger buttons. Right now, it's on small. So if I were to change this to, let's say, let's say big, then they're going to move a lot. So when I hit this stagger up button, they move too much. So I can come down here and I can rechange how much I want them to move. We'll say small. So now I'm going to do the down arrow, and they're moving a small amount. Um, I probably still want to move it just a tiny bit more, so I can change my step increment to be tiny. I'm scrolling through. So now it's on tiny. So now when, when I choose my down stagger button, it's going to barely move so I can just nudge it exactly to where I want this to be. So that's how you would use those um, step 
choices in in choosing just how much you want it to move at a time. So when you want to get something exactly in a certain spot, that's how you do it. I want to show you one other thing up in um, options up here. You can choose to show the grid lines under Panto Stacker. Say, okay, and now I have the grid lines. And the reason that this is good is when I, when I nested these, I'm no longer taking up the full eight inches. Um, if, if you were to count, you would see one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Each square represents one square inch, so there's eight inches up and down. Um, if you look at the bottom, you can see it lacks about a half an inch. It starts up at the top, but it lacks about a half inch at the bottom, so that lets me know there's going to be seven and a half inches that stitch. I hope you have found this video helpful.